going to form a nice little circle for Beaker and I to demonstrate all sorts of unique creations we have just come up with right at Muppet Labs. We're just going to form a little circle, a lot of room on that side here. Yes, good job. Don't be shy. Step forward and these ladies in the lab coats, they're my assistants. They're experts in safety, so they know exactly how close you can come. If you're ever wondering, just ask them. Alright, good. Gather around, everyone. It's time to have fun with science. I hear a lot of enthusiasm here. Uh, is everyone enjoying their day so far? Yeah. That's wonderful. Allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. And up there peddling his heart out is my loyal assistant, Beaker. Yeah. Also with us are our intrepid interns. Let's have a hand for Newton and Einstein. We are from Muppet Labs, where for many years I've created inventions to make everyone's life easier. Isn't that right, Beaker? We've been invited by Mr. Mickey Mouse himself to share some of the groundbreaking work going on at Muppet Labs. And to get you excited about science. Are you excited about science? Let me hear you! To bring the thrill of the lab directly to you, I've invented this most remarkable vehicle. Introducing the Muppet Mobile Lab! Everybody go! Isn't science fun? Alright, Beaker, let's start off with a bang by demonstrating my newest invention. <coughs> Mankind has always yearned to explore the galaxies, so today we shall attempt to blast a chicken into space! Introducing Space Chicken. Alright, Beaker, prepare the chicken launcher. Hudson to Priscilla, come in, Priscilla. Are you ready? Over. Oh, of course we're using Priscilla, Beaker. She is our test chicken. Oh, no! Yes, it's safe, Beaky. After all, I invented it. Now we'll begin our countdown for this historic launch. When we reach zero, everybody look upward and wave and shout, Bon voyage, Priscilla! Get ready, everyone. The headline will read, That's one small step for poultry, one giant leap for mankind. Two, one, zero. Say it with me, folks. Bon voyage, Priscilla! Wow, look at that. She's so high, you can barely see her. Is that Beaker? You forgot to strap the monitoring device onto her. Oh, uh, come in, Priscilla. Can you hear me? Oh, dear. Well, safe travels, Priscilla. I hear Mars needs chickens. What, Beaker? You're quitting? I'll miss Priscilla, too, but th that's no reason to leave Muppet Labs. If you leave, all of these people will be heartbroken. Isn't that right, everyone? Don't you love Beaker and want him to stay? Let's hear you. Ah, yes. See, Beaker? You could never be replaced. All right, Beaker, time to find your replacement. Beaker's replacement could be any one of you, and since the Muppet Mobile Lab is a top-secret prototype, you all must be sworn to secrecy. My soon-to-be-replaced assistant, Beaker, will swear you in. Now everyone raise your right hand and repeat after Beaker. Me! Me, 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 me! Okay, no more swearing in front of the children. Now, uh, you know, we've got a few people here who might have the makings of a future lab assistant. If you think you've got what it takes, go ahead and raise your hand way up so we can pick out a volunteer to be our new laboratory assistant. Do you see anyone, Newton? You, yes! You're eligible because you are capable of raising your hand above your head. Hello! Hello! Nice to meet you. What is your name? Yes, ah, that is correct. <laughs> All right, so you're doing so far so good. Out of curiosity, what was the most important part of the oath to you? Um, the me, 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 me. The 
That was gold, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, wait a second, you said your name is Tess, didn't you? Yes. Oh, wow, I recognize you now. Oh, folks, you are never going to believe this. Tess and I went to school together! Yes, what a small world, Tess. Oh, don't you love this song, Tess? Hey, everyone, sing along! It's a small world after all, it's a small, small world. That is a catchy tune, Beaker. Now, Tess, we're going to move on to the formalities of the application process. It is time for the all-important eye exam. You see, a good scientist knows that safety depends on perfect eyesight. For if you do not have the ability to observe the most intricate of details, it could cause a dangerous safety hazard. That's why here at Puppet Labs, our motto is safety first. Isn't that right, Beaker? <laughs> now, Tess, simply read the words on the side of the Muppet Mobile Lab and read out loud what you see. I am so good looking. You know, Tess, it's good to have a positive image of oneself, but all I need you to do is read the words that are located on the side of the lab. I'll give you a different one right now. Okay. No, seriously, I am so good looking. If we were testing egos instead of eyesight, you would pass with flying colors, Tess. All right, I'll give you one last chance, and I'm going to give you an easy one, and I'm sure you can do it. Uh, you having trouble reading that? <laughs> I understand. Maybe your eyes need lubrication. There we go. It happens to the best of us. Give our wet applicant a round of applause for her valiant efforts. Thank you for participating, Tess. Wonderful, wonderful valiant effort. But unfortunately, that means we may never find a replacement for Beaker. Oh, dear. Who changed the signs? Wait a second, Beaker, were you changing the signs the entire time? Oh, good joke, Beaker. You got me on that one. Now what's wrong, Beaker? The day's not over yet, Beaker. I'm certain we'll find someone. And besides, you need to think of happy things like your going away party. Wait a minute. I just had one of my brilliant ideas. Who thinks we should have Beaker's retirement party right now? As I've always said, science is fun, and to prove it, I am breaking out my rocking and rolling new invention. The Instant Fun Party! Of course it's safe, Beaker, it's a party. Now let's get this Instant Fun Party started! Everybody dance! Prepare for the fireworks finale. It'll be as exciting as New Year's Eve without the unpleasant aftertaste. Hey, wait a minute. No, the fireworks for the grand finale should have gone on by now. I don't understand. Oh, no, Beaker. Beaker, you're sitting on the fireworks launcher. You're out of the way, Beaker. You know, the fireworks may have failed, but at least we know the fireworks. Well, we should go to the seas and let Beaker soak off. We'll continue our all-important search for Beaker's replacement when we return. You know, it could be any one of you fine folks, so... See you soon. Remember, everyone, pain is learning. Oh, it's fine, Beaker. Just head it off, my Thank you.